We've come to realize that most of the advice given by today's elite investors, who are known for their buy low and sell high statements, is generic, which is why it was so refreshing to come across one of Charlie Munger's all-time quotes from a Berkshire shareholder meeting back in the 1990s, when a young guy once asked the renowned investor, Warren Buffett, what the best advice was for creating wealth. He replied, the first $100,000 is a but you got to do it. I don't care what you have to do. After you've managed to obtain $100,000, you can reduce the pressure a little. However, why does his advice make sense? And why is the $100,000 benchmark so crucial to remember? Ever watch a snowball fall off a cliff? As it descends, it gets bigger, faster, and more forceful. That's exactly how money works too. Once you've secured that initial $100,000, in today's video, we'll be breaking down everything you need to know about why your net worth completely explodes after your first $100,000 into really easy portions. As Charlie Munger indicated, you can really afford to back off the throttle a little bit, while estimating the time it will take you to reach millionaire status following your initial $100,000. Speaking of the grill figure, you might want to watch this video through to the end, because we'll be teaching you how to make $100,000 the quickest way. Spoiler alert, it's much simpler than you might think. However, before we get started, let us clarify that Charlie Munger never advocated for anyone to engage in any illegal activity. All right, so without further ado, let's start our journey starting with the two foundations. When he said he didn't care what you had to do to get your first $100,000, he was only referring to the countless investment methods out there jobs and basically any clean income generating avenue that you could possibly think about. That for the sake of it is what makes the first $100,000 so unique. The first method, which we will refer to as the hardest method because money works best in that phase, essentially says that the benefits or returns you receive from investments increase proportionately as you have more capital. For example, let's say our hypothetical investor Peter was to invest $200 in stocks or another investment, which carries some risk of course but let's say he was able to make a 10% return by the end of the year. That means Peter will have earned an extra $20, making it a total of $220. Granted, it's not a huge amount. However, do you know how much Peter would make with that same 10% return if he were to invest $200,000? Even though both scenarios include the same level of risk, the results differ significantly due to the different starting capital. The second foundation we must discuss, though, is executed money accumulation. As you may have already surmised, this concept revolves around the idea of a very big hill covered in wet snow, where you start with a snowball and watch it roll down the hill. Assuming that Peter saves $10,000 annually and achieves an 8% return on his stock market investment, it would take him approximately 7.27 years to save the first $100,000. It's a popular myth that saving a million dollars would take 7.27 years times 10 because 100K multiplied by 10 equals a million, but that's really not the case at all. Let's say he were to save $10,000 annually and invest it. In actuality, reaching a million dollars takes far less time than 72 years. Instead, let's examine how long it takes to get $200,000 using an 8% return on investment. Peter would only need to invest 4.94 years to reach $200,000 after attaining $100,000. Since his initial $100,000 is now earning interest and he is continuing to contribute $10,000 a year, let's fast forward to the year $500,000. By applying this foundation to $100,000 with an 8% return on investment, he will receive that money in around 11 years. In order to review, let us examine the time required to reach each $100,000 for the initial half of a million dollars. As previously mentioned, the first $100,000 would require approximately 7.27 years to reach an 8% return. The second $100,000 milestone would require approximately 4.94 years. The third $100,000 milestone would require approximately 3.68 years due to the compounding effect. And the fourth $100,000 milestone would require only approximately 2.93 years. 
However, each succeeding $100,000 milestone will be reached more quickly than the one before it. For example, the fifth $100,000 will only require approximately 2.45 years, if that pleases you. Did you know that Peter might become a millionaire from his $10,000 original investment in just 29.9 years if he continued to reinvest that money? That's incredible. Given that it's a small portion of the commonly accepted 72 years, we suppose this explains why Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger's longtime business partner, once acknowledged that compound interest has shaped his life. Hopefully, this has shown you how your net worth increases dramatically once you hit $100,000. More importantly, though, it has shown you that if we can reach $100,000 in less time than 7.84 years, we will have a lot more time to accumulate wealth. The primary obstacle to compounding wealth comes in the first stage, especially in attaining the first $100,000. And for that same reason, as he put it, Charlie Munger created the last regulation to in his words, caution us all. The first rule of compounding, according to him, is to never stop it unnecessarily. Unfortunately, this is one of the main issues that most investors and people in this generation are currently facing. We live in a world where instant gratification is the norm and frequently forget to think through the costs of our purchases before making them. Although it's true that you should make an effort to unwind and fully enjoy life, a lot of people who don't yet have a net worth of close to $100,000 prefer to live in the moment and spend all of their money because they believe they can't afford to save. It's crucial to remember that you need to exercise caution, especially in light of the fact that inflation existed a year ago and that the average cost of living is still very high. Given what you now know about how crucial it is to hit the first $100,000, don't you think you should cut back on the amount of money you impulsively spend on the newest gadgets and clothing, or even hundreds of dollars a month on car payments for a second car when the one you already owned was plenty? When Charlie Munger joined Buffett at Berkshire Hathaway, he was already a wealthy man. Over time, he increased his wealth, and by early 2023, it was believed to be $2.3 billion. Munger would sit next to Buffett at Berkshire's annual shareholder meeting engaging both the crowd and the chairman of the company with his knowledge and rarely hesitating to offer sound counsel on excessive expenditure. He once stated that in order to invest, we must save money and live within our means. Living within your means is still one of the best and most reliable ways to build wealth, even though it's not particularly new. Setting aside some of your monthly surplus to invest in accounts, even if it's only a small amount, allows your money to grow over decades. Therefore, you must understand that every dollar matters a lot more, especially in the beginning, before you reach $100,000 in net worth. Let's not forget, however, that obtaining your first $100,000 is not entirely dependent on market investment returns. For example, if you save $10,000 annually for seven years and manage to earn a respectable 5% return on your savings, you would have $85,900, of which 82% would have come from savings and the remaining 18% would have come from investment returns. Let's use a different approach and save up to $155,000 a year, assuming a 10% average return over 10 years. The first path that we must discuss is to massively attack your earnings. Regardless of your current income level, your main goal should be to actively build wealth, which we define as aggressively improving or boosting what you make every day, week, month, or whatever metric you choose to use. This is the point at which you must take your investments more seriously by either learning new skills or obtaining certificates to give you more leverage, or you can try looking for job openings and snooping around for better pay when and when the opportunity arises. Alternatively, you can invest your money in stocks, real estate, or any other kind of business. The world is your oyster. You can even set aside money to launch a side business that will passively increase your income without requiring you to do anything. However, if you want to move from $0 to $100,000 as quickly as possible, you must expand your revenue source, which takes us to the following step, protecting your earnings is an important path to follow because, even as you work to increase your income stream, you still need to control your spending to make sure that your earnings aren't wasted. Without responsible money management, saving up to $100,000 
or reaching any major financial goal will become difficult or impossible. Charlie Munger, whose frugal lifestyle perfectly embodies the idea of defending his money, is a fascinating illustration of this method since you'll constantly getting sucked into the instant satisfaction of today's environment. Munger was well known for living below his means, as you can see. Like Warren Buffett, he led a modest lifestyle and shied away from ostentatious purchases. This methodical approach to money management shows how setting aside money for saves and making prudent investments may have a big impact on long-term financial success. Over time, he was able to gradually amass fortune. Start creating budgets today. Find ways to limit your spending to just your emergency funds and reduce some of your discretionary expenditure in areas where you don't need it. However, while you're on that route, the third one is all about wise money which is defined as using your money to support your daily needs. You are undoubtedly aware that the government deducts money from your paycheck, up to 50% in certain cases, if you live in any Western country. However, the highest federal tax bracket in the United States is approximately 37%. Using tax-sheltered accounts, such as a Roth IRA, traditional IRA, or 401k plan can help you accumulate and keep more of your money because they offer opportunities to save and invest without incurring significant taxes. By maximizing your dollar in this way, you're essentially creating a tax shelter shielding your money from the government's 37% tax rate. With a traditional IRA, you get a tax deduction on your contributions for the year, and with a 401, you can receive employer-matched contributions giving you some free money along with tax benefits. Your earnings grow tax-free. This quickens the process of accumulating wealth, particularly considering that the majority of the difficulty is in the beginning. The sooner we get past this obstacle, the better off we'll be. Investing in gold is another delicious way to make our money work for us. Putting money into it will be risk-free. Guys, it's really not worth it to deposit your money in a regular checking account at a large bank where you will only receive a meager interest rate with investing in gold in the USA offers several benefits to investors seeking stability and diversification in their portfolios. One primary advantage is gold's historical role as a hedge against inflation. In times of economic uncertainty or rising inflation, the value of gold tends to appreciate, providing a safeguard for investors against the eroding effects of inflation on traditional assets. Additionally, gold has proven to be a reliable store of value over centuries, making it a trusted asset for preserving wealth. As a tangible asset, gold is not subject to the same risks as paper currency or other financial instruments, adding a layer of security to investors' portfolios. Another significant benefit of investing in gold in the USA is its role as a safe haven during times of geopolitical turmoil or market volatility. When traditional markets experience downturns or heightened instability, investors often turn to gold as a flight to safety. The precious metal's inherent stability and lack of correlation with other asset classes make it an attractive option for risk-averse investors looking to preserve capital. As a globally recognized and traded commodity, gold provides liquidity and can be easily bought or sold, offering investors flexibility and accessibility in managing their investment portfolios. Overall, incorporating gold into an investment strategy can contribute to a well-rounded and resilient financial portfolio in the dynamic landscape of the USA's financial markets. In wrapping up our exploration of Charlie Munger's invaluable advice on achieving millionaire status through investing, remember that successful wealth building is a journey marked by patience, knowledge, and disciplined decision-making. As you embark on your investment endeavors, consider Munger's emphasis on continuous learning, rational thinking, and a long-term perspective. The road to financial success may have its twists and turns, but by incorporating these principles into your approach, you'll be better equipped to navigate the dynamic landscape of investing. So subscribe to our channel, stay informed, and let Munger's insights guide you on your path to financial prosperity. Here's to making informed choices, building wealth, and achieving the millionaire milestone. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to sharing more valuable insights with you in future videos.